Hello, and welcome back to Treacles 2. We finished the second level, onward to level 3. Vithro walked down the stairs and caught a faint whiff of a horrible stench. It smelled kind of like a mix between a really strong orange, a rotting cabbage, and those socks Vithro lost behind the icebox that won Ansuary. By Dugan's beard! I am never, ever going to get used to this! Kind of funny having a different voice actor trying to mimic Vithra's voice. That was a that was a good effort. I appreciated that. All right, level three. I wonder if we're finally gonna actually have gel puzzles. So have two levels of okay. Looks like we are. So two levels of gel babies later, finally get to gel. Uh, no backwards text. Uh, okay, and our spectator is absent. This is gonna be another. Yeah, another one of these credits. Wind, aspen trees, and bird call. Interesting. Specifically wind through aspen aspen trees, which would be different than wind through other trees. Alright, well, we uh, got baited to the north by that scroll, so let's uh, start with the north. So gel is kind of weird. Uh, you can only cut it on an inside corner, which I guess is what the purpose of this room was, to kind of show you can only cut this here, which would be death. Okay. Uh, because we wouldn't be able to get out. Um, I'm not going to dwell on that for too long, because I'm assuming everybody watching this knows how gel and tar stuff works. So what's going on here? We have a black door, have to cut all the gel. The only way to cut this is to have the goblin here, which closes that. Okay, so this has to be the last thing. So we have to cut all of this while keeping a goblin alive. I mean, it's not going to be the hardest thing. Uh, do we have to keep a goblin alive, or could we use a gel baby for this? Because we need something standing on this when we step here, so that we can cut this. And then this is closed, so yeah, the only way out is through the, the gel babies. Okay, this doesn't actually look that hard. Uh, the trickiest part is going to be managing the goblin. I feel like goblin's probably easier than trying to stash a gel baby somewhere and then get it on here. Although... Well, no, if I could stash a gel baby right in this corner, which isn't going to happen. I could stash a gel baby down here, though, and then from here... Let's say I stashed a gel baby somewhere in here. Mm. I don't think I can get it to move there. So here... I can get it to move here. So it would be on this diagonal at most. Yeah, okay. So I have convinced myself that this is not a gel baby. It is a goblin, which is going to be the easier easier way to deal, deal with this anyway. Goblin's going to run away from our sword. So just like that. And as you can see, when we cut the gel in the right spot, it breaks apart into gel babies. Hmm. Well, to deal with you... Yeah, that's not going to be good. So I need to stash you somewhere. I probably needed to leave that gel and get you trapped on it. In fact, you know what? Rather than mess around with this, let's just do that. Yeah, that did not work the way I wanted it to. You get... See? Okay. 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 You behave. Uh, there we go. Goblin's trapped. As long as we stay on this diagonal, we're okay. Goblin gets out. Annoying. Okay. And I think... Yeah, I think that was the hardest one. Alright, you come in there. Come in there a little bit farther. 
All right. Looks good to me. And now I'm on this, so I'm safe. Okay. Well, it's gonna be like that, is it? Hmm. Okay. Not quite safe. In that case, we'll do that to get the goblin off of us. Fiddling, but pretty easy room overall. This level isn't just three room or four rooms, is it? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> All right, other tar stuff. Tar can only be cut on an edge, and mud can only be cut on a corner. And we have a gel baby, of course. Brain gel baby, even. Okay, so if I hit this, if I hit this, then. We're stuck. I could have a gel baby here if I'm facing uh, to the left with the gel baby on the door. I could hit that. Gel baby would come in with me and be stuck in this area. That would allow me... Let's see. If I step here, you'd be right behind me, and then I step here, and you'd still be stuck. Okay. Yeah, so this little mechanism here, I just have to bring a gel baby in with me. Uh, stepping here, I'm no longer on the brain path map, so the gel baby would be dumb and get stuck on the wall. All right, so cut all the tar stuff before. Hmm. So we have to keep you alive. Which means the hard part is going to be this one. So how do we... And it has to be the gel baby, because I was just thinking, oh, I could just keep a tar baby alive. But no, tar baby would slide. Even if I step here and kill the brain, it's still going to slide, and then that's no good. And this mechanism up here ensures I can only bring one monster with me. So it has to be the gel baby. Hmm. Is there a way... I can trap you anywhere. Because if you're brained and you're coming for me in here... Thing is, I don't think there's a way I can use this trap door. Like, I, I'm, I'm thinking about like cutting a path through here and using the trap door, but the problem is, is that you'll have a way back out. All I have to do is poke this and get out, though. I don't have to actually spend time in there. So... Okay, that wasn't great because I had the wrong orientation. Okay, got some extra distance. Cool. Um, is that enough time? No. Okay. What if I just do this? Oh, that's not good. No, we want you coming in from the from the bottom. But it's awkward because because we need to like we need to do one side and then the other in order to get that distance. Using this, I don't think is any better because the only way I can trap it in here would be to drop the trap door. And hmm. this is kind of suspicious, but I don't think it's useful. Because I step in here, stab, stab. I guess three stabs to break up all the mud. And then I mean, I can just run in and it's fine. It's just a matter of getting out. Because I can... I oh, don't want to do that. 
if I do that, we're not brained anymore. But then I can't. Can I get a can I get around you here? Hmm. No, because you're gonna try to move orthogonally. Unless I do this. Yeah, okay, I can't get around you in that space. No. If I'm facing this way. I mean, I can do that. Okay, so that got me out. Then there's this, which... Running around a brained enemy, huh? It's almost like I want to break this in advance. I think that would make things easier. It would, okay. So with that in mind... Right, because then I don't have to... Then I don't have to rotate. Brain dull babies are weird. Yeah, so now if I do this... And then wait a turn for ma- well, wait a turn actually can rotate. Okay, and that gives me more than enough time. Okay. And this pattern is still clearable. Bell baby. Man, this is a weird, weird enemy. Okay, going around this way isn't gonna work. I might be too much cutting at once. Or I can just do that. Alright. Problem is, you're now on my tail and I'm facing, like, the worst way. Um, oh, oops, I can, I can do this, though, to get some distance. Yeah, and that's fine. Never actually done this with a, with a brain gel baby before. This is interesting. Yeah, and you are one behind me. And as we, as we thought. Alright, so I guess this is the introduction to how tar stuff works. We have seen gel, tar, and mud. Okay, the level expands out, so we're probably on some sort of diagonal thing or some horizontal thing. Depending on whether there's another room there. Speed potion, caber, and kegs. Okay, well we can... Ah... Right, so there's a there's a weird interaction. I think the speed potion exists because whoops. Because if I do this. Uh no no, that's not it. If I do this. See they they move the turn that the keg explodes. That's because the keg I'm exploding the keg and then they're not getting a turn they're getting a turn to move because they've already spawned before it's the monster's turn. But if I just stab this, then it doesn't work that way. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know why explosions work differently, they just do. So I'm guessing that's what the speed potion's for. Really, there's, there's no reason not to take the speed potion here. So we have to... We have to make this cuttable in a way. Well... We have, we have to do something so that we can cut. Right, not brained anymore. Alright. Let's 
So because I've set this up this way, I have to do this. Yeah, whatever. I could fight them with a the caber. With the speed potion, it wouldn't be that terrible, but I'm still not that interested. Uh, we want a diagonal, probably. So let's do that. Hmm, that didn't quite do what I wanted there. It's because I wanted it back one more, which... Oh boy. Is that gonna work? Hmm. That's terrible. Okay. So I'm gonna have to actually think about this. The way I was doing it there, just kind of blowing stuff up, and it wasn't really working the way I wanted. So... This. One corner is not particularly good for this. Let's see if this is better. I could try to think about this. Okay, that's... Mm, better, but if we could do it... Uh, if we could do it on the other side... Like that. Okay, so that's one keg to deal with that entire block, and then we still have this, which we can blow up here. So that's pretty good. Here I want... Well, this is... Are these the same length? Four off each? Yep, okay, these are the same length. Hmm. Well, if I do something like... Not that. If I do something like this... That gets me... That's not great, because now... I don't want to... I don't think I want to stab here. I want... No, I want to blow up that, which... This isn't great at all. If I do that, and two is not great, but I'm going to have to use another keg anyway. Because if I do that... Um, hmm. Maybe? If I do this, I can get all three. Does that give me... So how does that work for this? That's fine. That'll work. Okay. Might not have been that precise. Yeah, let's just... That works. I hate fighting things when I'm using a speed potion. It just throws everything off. Alright. Got a staff, and... Interesting, is that a multi-use? It is. So that's telling me... But if I have a Mimic, the Mimic has a staff. Alright. Then there's this, which doesn't matter if the Vision Token's used or not because of my settings, so I have to do that to open this, which gives me access to a Spear. Gives me access to a Spear Token, okay. This eye... Uh, there's no arrow rotator. I guess I can click on these to see. Nothing seems to affect the arrows. That's going to be the door. All right, so Mimic has to go in here to push. I guess it's going to have a staff. It's going to have to push the eye out. Then... Then we got this nonsense, which is pretty easy to do, actually. I'm just going to have to 
probably stand here facing to the left with the Mimic here facing south. And then when I do my rotation, the Mimic's staff will be in my body. Um, no, it won't. It'll push me here. That's terrible. Uh, okay, well, that was one idea. What opens this? That does. Oh, that's not what I thought. I assumed I was giving the Mimic the spear so that it would finish these off. No, okay. Uh, well, that's actually better for me, because then the Mimic's going to push them up here and I'll just stab them myself on the diagonal force arrow. So that's fine. Then there's this, which is just a matter of clearing all of the gel, which once I have a spear, that'll be easy. Then there's this. What is this? Okay, I smell secret access. I think that's what this is. Because the Ormites are going to force us to lock our way. And we can't... You know, we can't go in there with a staff, which would be the easy way to get, get through it. Hmm. Well, I've uh, actually built a room around that particular trick, so I'm not worried about that. I just have to get the Mimic to push me off of the Ormites in order to get through there. So that's what that is. So I'm going to ignore this passage. So to start, none of this gel is cuttable in a way that will make me survive. I think I talked about this in the, uh, the entrance. I was saying I can't cut this without dying. Uh, this is why. In this situation, there's no way to survive. All right, so that means we start with the Mimic. This has to be the first thing that we do. Push this eye out. I'm not going to kill the eye. Uh, the tunnel ensures that I'm the one who has the sword. So I'm not killing this eye because I might be able to use it for Mimic leverage. Uh, so what do I want to actually do here? I want <coughs> oh, sorry. Huh. I want us to be kind of like this. Is this the separation I want? Cuz the idea is Okay, if I'm standing here, Mimic is here with its staff in me. I step here, cut, and then I'm Mimic moves forward and pushes me out right away. This is already pretty advanced, but I think we've uh, come to the conclusion that this is uh, not a tutorial hold anymore. I needed you that. Okay. There we go. So that gets me out safely. I can just cut the other one myself. That's fine. At this point, all I need is the mimic in here. Uh, let's just get this done. Is this... it's an open, okay. Let's just get this stuff dealt with so that I don't have to deal with you anymore. Okay, I was not actually useful for anything. Uh, which is... interesting. Now I'm assuming if I needed the eye for leverage for this, I don't. I mean, this is this is pretty easy to do. But I'm assuming if I did need the eye for that, that there would be a beacon in the room somewhere. So with a spear, you can just kind of cut wherever. 
Uh, it is, however, easier to fight the gel babies using a sword. So we're just going to switch back. Alright. Not too bad. Okay. We have a hint guy? We have a hint guy here. Oh no. I think I see why. So what we have here... I guess we'll do that secret later. So what we have here is a pressure plate. We have to clear the pressure plate in order to do anything else with this room. So that means cutting this, um... Hmm. So gel cutting theory is a little bit weird, because we've got flat edges like that, that's not generally good. I'm just gonna stop the obvious way and then I'll stop and see if I have to actually think about it. Okay, yeah, so this doesn't work. Dude, if I do this, this is different. So I could do that, but that's that's not great. There is a way to cut this. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, can I ever make that cut? If I make that cut, I, then I can go through here. Which might be okay. No. Okay, that's really not okay, because there's no way to clear that corner. But we can't go one more. Uh, then we have to do that once we have a, an isolated bit like that. It has to be done that way. If I do this, that forces this. Uh, that's not going to work, because from here, yeah. Not a cuttable shape. I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing here. That worked. Well, trial and error, that's what I'm doing. Oh. So now that I've figured out that, I was expecting some sort of decoy multi-push, but what's actually going on here is I only get two different sword orientations to cut this. It is the same. Okay, well we needed... The way I did it, we needed that to start. And that means... Uh, diagonals are going to be our friends here, so... Maybe this? This just, well, this looks kind of annoying for a couple of reasons. Mostly the cleanup. Okay, we're going to Uh, okay, that wasn't too bad. So is the way that I cut this going to work here? Okay, I think that's good. We use you. And then I think we wanted this one next. Yes, okay, that works. Okay. 
I've never been a fan of the uh, using a decoy and a staff as a as a weapon. It just it just feels so awkward every time. Okay, we're gonna kill one that way. Ah, excellent. And by excellent, I mean the opposite of excellent. Okay. So really, we want you... I mean, if we just put you one more north... That'll let us get... some distance, and that's all we needed, because these are decoys. Okay, so if I do something like this, they're going to move out in front. Unfortunately, a little bit messy. Alright, so we cleared that. Uh, what's this going on here? Another secret, probably? Well, the combination of trapdoor and like these two doors basically mean I have to retry. I can't exit that way from here. I just want to make sure. Let's see, I can stab this. I want to make sure I can get through here without having to restore the room. I guess uh, before we mess with that, we can also talk to Hint Guy. Also, what's this? Oh, okay. That's probably also for secret access. Look for the problem areas first. This blob needs some specific cuts to be eliminated entirely. Yeah, and there's a way to deal with that. There's, like, the way gel works, you kind of make diagonal cuts that can penetrate through as far as you want. And then there's, some, there's something about different colored tiles. I don't know, I think this probably came up in... Uh, which one was it? It was Advanced Concepts. I don't remember if it was one or two. There was a section on gel theory, or on um, tar stuff theory. Um, I want to say it was mud and tar. I don't know. I don't remember if there was a gel section. Hmm. It's okay to split this blob into two pieces. Talk to me again, and I'll give you a spoiler for which sort of directions work. Okay, I'm curious if these are going to be the same as the ones I found. You can solve this with Northwest and Southwest decoys. That's uh, all. Northwest and Southwest, that's that's what I did. Okay. Well. This gives us access to a staff and two decoys. So, why does that matter? That matters because... In order to get down here, we need to drop the trapdoor while we're through this. Which means that we place a Mimic with a staff. I mean, we could place it with a sword. Oh no, we can't place it with a sword because we can't grab this. So we place this with a staff. And then it has to make a rotation move. Okay, well... First of all, let's grab a staff. So they're replacing decoys with staff. So we make a rotation. And by rotating... Hmm. See, the problem is we can't actually place a decoy on this, and we need a decoy on it. Uh, wait. Am I not making this way more complicated than it needs to be? I have, I have the staff now. I can just do that. Okay. So, I don't know if that was intended, but there we go. That's step one. No, I can't do that. But that's what the Mimic's for. Okay, so that makes the pushing that's involved way simpler. Alright, so I think we're just going to do that. Make sure that we have the staff still. There we go. And that gives us a secret. 
Oh no. Do it again, but on hot dials. Oh boy. And okay, trivial exit. Trivial exit, good. I do not have a choice. I must... I must have a staff in order to get into the room. However, I do get a choice as to whether these two decoys have a sword or a staff, and I highly suspect I want a sword. And I can't think of any reason why these would be placed on this side. So the problem with this is that in order to make this, can I do this with four cuts? Uh, actually, I can just place these. Okay. Make my life a little bit easier. So obviously one of the first cuts is going to be on that diagonal. And probably not this then, because that creates a flat surface. So that means the only other option is this. And if we did that... We'd also want to cut here and then... Okay, I, I think this is actually pretty easy, um, if I'm seeing this right. We're going to wait on that. Uh, you know what, let's just... Again, not a fan of having to do this, but that's fine. Okay, so then we're going to put you here. Cut one, cut two. Get a double cut. In fact, let's just kill one of those while we're at it. Fortunately, gel does not. Gel does not burn on hot tiles, unlike B throw decoys. Yeah, and then from here... Okay, I didn't even look at the side of the rooms. <laughs> I was just concerned about how to cut the gel. Well, okay, this should be pretty clear that this... Uh, are these uh, references? They are reference lines. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and it's fine because I also have the pit, so I can always just do this. So I don't... I'm, I was just checking. I don't need... I don't need... a sword decoy at the end, I can do that. But what's going on here? Let's actually stop and think about this. Um, I, you guys probably started here, which means that I can never personally step on this. Oh boy. Well, that would kind of make sense. That would be sort of what the whole puzzle's about. Yeah, okay. So I still think that's a good start. Because we're not having to sacrifice any of our staff decoys in order to do it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, figures. The other option would be just to stick a decoy uh, here and here, just to keep them in position. But that's not going to happen. All right, so I feel good about that. Um, and I can't, I can't just push it myself. So in that case, we're doing this. Yeah, I can never step here. So how many decoys is it going to take? One, two, three... I want to go all the way through, right? So it's four decoys, I think. Maybe three. Maybe three decoys can do it. Hopefully three, because I'm going to have to do it again on the other side. So there's one... and we're setting up some absurd multi-push here. 
three. Ah. Okay, that angle is not good because we don't get to push any further. And we do want to hit that here. All right, well, that's easy enough to fix. That just, whoops, that just means not using you at the start. Let's do it this way. Now, it shouldn't really matter which one we use where as long as we have enough space to... Uh, still a problem. Okay, because of the spawning gel baby. Okay, well, that leaves us. Let's just do that. Alright, we do have extra potions. Might as well use them. Yeah, you get out of the way. You do that. Let's see, and now we're so far over that things get awkward. Because we would need you to be in the wall. So this is probably not going to work, what I'm trying to do here. Because I needed to use all of you. But that gets me the three cuts I need. But how do I get to that far? Uh, I don't need that many cuts. I just need... See, I only have three more, though. Because if I try to do the same thing from the other side... It's not going to work. You get over here. Right, so that means I actually didn't want to use swords, so that was a trap. Okay, because I could have two more. Yeah, because I only need two. All right. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I only actually need the two here. Pretty sure. Having more staves makes this a lot easier. Uh huh. Oh, right, I have that issue still. Well. I need you to be at this angle, which means I need you here. Wait, how did I get this to work again? It's got to be like this, right? And then you do a turn? Okay. There we go. And that leaves us half of our potions. Oh, wait. Can't do that. So that should be fine. All right, so for you, yeah, maybe we can just set up the same thing. What happened there? Ah. Right, because I'm I'm making the same mistake as last time. Alright, well 
This time I think we might be able to get away with using one of you. That looked fine. But there should be fewer... Oh, nope. Okay. Okay. We'll just do it this way. Do we have less space on this side? Looks like we have less space on this side. Interesting. Oh. Well. No, that's not going to work, because if we're doing that, we have to do that. Which means we need that, which means... Not quite enough. Okay. And here, so what's the problem? Cut there, it's fine. Push, that's fine. So if you were here, this would not work. has to be that. Hmm. Okay, and if that didn't exist... Like, if that blob just didn't exist... We still wouldn't have enough length, that's the problem. Alright. So maybe we need one sword. That seems like the sort of trick you could have. So if we're just doing this with one... We did something like this. Problem with this this method. Is that we lose We lose a lot, and then from here. Even if we rescued that one, we'd still be short. Okay. Uh, let's try something a little bit different. Oh, that's not going to work. I was thinking just cutting through diagonally. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, is this the same? If this is the same, it should have just worked. Why? Oh, this thing isn't symmetrical. This thing's off to one side. That's the issue. Okay. Well, what if we just start from the other side? Okay, again. We have to start this one. the wrong spot. Let's so do that, and... Well, that's not going to work, is it? Because then I'm just get it getting longer. Yeah. Because at that point, I might as well just do that. Well, we can get a first cut that way, but we're really going to need, we're really going to need those cuts. We're 
really going to need those cuts. Hmm. We could place... Like, we can place one of these with a sword right from the start. However, all that does is gives us a cut that we're able to get anyway. Okay, well, what if we don't go all the way? So instead of doing that, we do this. And then we get to use you. So that just gets us the one cut. Well, again, that's useless because we need at least that second cut. I'm just trying to think, if I don't do this cut, what's the consequence? The consequence is that I, after doing this cut and this cut, which I'm able to do, I'm still going to have one left. And I'm going to be out of potions, probably. Okay, you're kind of in an awkward orientation, so let's just do it this way. I just needed one more. So then from here... Uh, I didn't just need one more, I needed two more. Alright. Well, we can do that, like this. And that's not going to work because of that. But there's no way to get the full cut this way. Okay, well, we can rescue this one. All the good that does us. Okay, and then we can do this. by doing this. I don't think this is going to work, but this is... I have extra potions, let's just use it. So if we do that... Yeah, there's not really any way to rescue... to rescue you. You're too far down. So this gives me three potions. If I had a sword... If I had a sword... You're not able to double push across... Uh, pushing, it in, pushing a decoy onto a token won't change the token anyway. Has that ever been finalized? That seems to be one of those things where we're still debating whether or not that's a thing that we want to have happen. Uh, but regardless... So we do that. Alright, let's say I had... So let's say I had a sword here. Hypothetically, this is a... Whoops. Hypothetically, this was placed with a sword. I don't think that gives me enough distance. No, not even close. I need... if I had one more decoy, it would. But I have to step... too far. So if I had one more decoy, that would work. Hmm. We're using four there, but we can't use four on the other side. That's the issue. So is there a way... Yeah, we can't do one cut and then one cut. That doesn't work either. So we have to at least do that much which costs us three decoys. 
So three, four, and four. That's 11. We start with 10. Naturally. Okay. Hmm. I don't think there's any way I can push a decoy where I'm doing like push moves and then rotate at the end. Is there a meaningful way to take advantage of that? So like if I'm doing push, I can move straight and then do... Yeah, see the problem with that is that it's not going to move the whole line because we're moving in a different direction. Moving in a different direction. So I don't think we're doing something sneaky like that. Hmm. And it's not going to be any better magically with you, right? Because it's going to be the same issue. If I'm pushing you down, you're doing that, and then you're doing... You're not. You're not. It's going to make a difference. I could... Well, if I'm doing that, I have to keep pushing in the same direction because of the hot tiles. So I can't reorient. So I think it just has to be straight lines. Yeah, because again, I'm not able to rotate. All right, well... Let's say we were doing that. So we did this to start. That's already costing us three. And there isn't a way to save you. Because once you've gone past the, the gravel here, there's no way a rotation or anything fancy is going to be able to get you out. Because I'm going to have to step too far. Like on this tile, you're still, you're still retrievable. Because I can, I can do that. I can do this. Right, and if we're just doing that one cut and then abandoning you, we might as well just place it from the start. Alright, that's a new approach. We don't like this side, so let's just do that. We'll start with two cuts this way. And then we just have to go once and twice, right? Which we have four and eight. That might work. This might work. Okay, you go in your spot. Maybe I didn't want to do that. I don't think it really matters, though. There we go. So four, and that leaves me four for the final cut. And that should work. Okay. All right. Not bad. I'm pretty confident this works. There we go. We've broken all of the... Cell, and we've gotten them out. Oh no. I was trying to be too efficient and it didn't work. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, that was pretty tricky.
sixth place. That was uh, relatively high, probably because not that many people have done it. I don't know. It's hard to say. With the secret room, like people might have done it, they might not have done it. Because most people get obsessive about the completion, but at the same time, I know that there are a bunch of people that start holds and don't finish them. The numbers on the Caravel net, on Caravel net, bear that out. People don't make it to the final levels. So it's conceivable that people leave the secrets. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll start with this secret next time. Uh, I will see you then.